Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God reassures his loyal worshipers that he supports them no matter what problems they face. God does all this, strengthens and assists his worshipers, is by means of his word, the Bible, according to Joshua 1.8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, and then thou shalt have good success. Hebrews 4.12 For we have the living word of God, which is full of energy, like a two-mouthed sword. It will even penetrate to the very core of our being, where soul and spirit, bone and marrow meet. It interprets and reveals the true thoughts and secret motives of our hearts. God's word offers practical wisdom to those who face trials, such as poverty, illness, or the loss of a loved one. God can also use His Holy Spirit to give His worshipers the emotional and mental strength needed to endure trials, according to Proverbs 2, 6 through to 8. Wisdom is a gift from a generous God, and every word He speaks is full of revelation and becomes a fountain of understanding within you. For the Lord has a hidden storehouse of wisdom, made accessible to His godly ones. He becomes your personal bodyguard as you follow His ways, protecting and guarding you as you choose what is right. I am with you. God gives His worshipers a reason they should not be afraid. They are not alone. Because He sees what they go through, and he hears their prayers. It is because he is right with you, according to Psalm 34, 15. The Lord sees all we do. He watches over his friends day and night. His godly ones receive the answers they seek whenever they cry out to him. 1 Peter 3, 12 For the eyes of the Lord Yahweh rest upon the godly, and his heart responds to their prayers. But he turns his back on those who practice evil. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In this life, uncertainties abound. Are you looking for a job? Have you recently graduated from school, or applied to a school, or perhaps you don't know when your next meal will be, or how you are going to buy your child that pair of shoes or clothing he or she needs? God the Father is saying, Fear not, for I am with you. We may trick ourselves for a while into thinking we know exactly what's going to happen next only to realize that so much of life seems outside of our control. Philippians 4, 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Romans 8, 15 For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. I am with you. God gives his worshipers a reason why they should not be afraid. They are not alone. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. While the future is uncertain to us, the future is never uncertain to God. God's faithfulness to His promises is witnessed in the scriptures throughout. The story of Abraham is one of the many classics. Abraham was called by God to leave his home and be a wandering nomad. 
Abraham lived with uncertainty every day. Where was he going? How was God going to provide him with a son? What if he was killed or taken into slavery by a foreign king? The most important part of Abraham's story is not Abraham, but God's faithfulness to care for Abraham. Even when Abraham tried to take things into his own hands, God continued to work his plan for Abraham and Sarah, despite the many obstacles. It didn't happen the way they expected, and it took longer than they would have liked. But God did what he promised and provided for Abraham. Reading these stories shows us that God is a God who can be trusted to do what he promises and provide what we need. Philippians 4, 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Psalm 23, 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Just because something didn't happen the way we wanted it to, or the way we imagined, does not mean God has left us or forgotten about us. On the contrary, God is working in and through everything in our lives, even when it seems He is absent. Again, we can turn to the biblical story for evidence and comfort. Israel was promised a Messiah, who took hundreds of years to finally come. However, as God reminds them through his prophet Jeremiah, Psalm 34, 4, I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 56, 3, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. God works all things for our good, regardless of our fear. Romans 8, 28, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. All good gifts, even every breath we take, come from Him, including things that don't seem like good gifts. When our plans don't go as planned, even then He is working to bring our lives closer to Him. His infinite wisdom sees what we cannot see, Psalm 34, 6 This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Therefore, do not fear. Psalm 118, 6 The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? James 5, 13 through 15 Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Do not be anxious or fear anything. He is by your side. He preserves and protects. And the Lord preserved David wherever he went. Wherever David went, the Lord helped him. Psalm 91 mentions God's protection, saying, My refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Through faith, worship, and prayer, we are protected from evil forces, both external and internal, by committing ourselves to the righteous will of the Lord. Just because we are under God's care, it does not stop the storms from happening around us. But it does provide incredible strength and protection for every battle we face in this life. But the storms never have full reign, for right in the midst he reminds us, you are held secure by a mighty God. You may feel some wind, 
you may hear the loud thunder and see darkness or rain all about. But His covering of protection and love surround. You don't face it alone. Do not fear. God bless you.